actually gotten in a little trouble when I was there because I didn't compete my senior year. And so I actually spent a year in prison and then uh, coming home, you know, I went to work and, uh, you know, I just wasn't ready to put away competition yet. And then uh, and then uh, he had told me, hey, man, look at I sobered up. I'm ready to uh, start coaching full time. And uh, I got this gig if you're interested. And it was a, a, with a TV show called Kingdom. And uh, he's like, you could quit your job. You could just train full time with me. And uh, we could take it from there if you if it's something you're interested in. I said, yeah, man. So since then, because um, Joe's been through it all, you know, he's been through all, every up and down you could think of in the sport. And, um, you know, he said, if I could have a guy that would just train and just train to want to be a champion, I could get you there. And I said, man, I'm, I'm, I got some decisions to make as, as, as well. And I got to put some things behind me and move forward from here. And I was like, I'm going to live and breathe fighting. And so he had to sew up some relationships just in order to get me fight. So he literally put his, you know, his life on the line and his pride on the line, you know, and it was just like, man, I really appreciate it. So now it's starting to show though, you know, it's starting, we're reaping what we've been sowing, you know, so, and it's sure. only just the beginning from here on out. That is, uh, that's great stuff, my friend. That's yeah. awesome stuff. Absolutely. Um, Jen, go ahead and fire away if you like. I'm good. Sure, I just, uh, so I just want to go back to the, uh, you know, you saying you were the most, we're going to see, you are going to be the most scientifically trained athlete the sport has ever seen. What does that mean? Um, what you intake on food, how you wash your hair, what you drink out of, just like making a whole lifestyle change in order to get the best performance as you can out of your body. You know, the way you train, recovery, rest, um, training at a high, high, out, uh, a high output, and then pulling back when you're supposed to. So so my trainer literally has a heart rate vari variability program where he's able to dial into my recovery and uh, see when I'm about to get sick, how to pull me back and keep myself from getting sick and keeping myself from being overtrained. I mean, one year I fought seven times in one year. He already knows what my weight is gonna be when I wake up. He knows how to how to basically body hack my body and you know put the weight on. Like, you know, I fought at uh, 135 and then um, two and a half months later, I fought at 160. You know, Aaron Pico, he uses them, and you see how, how sharp he is out there and how shredded he is. You know, he's one of the best up and comers right now in Bellator, and he's he, he looks awesome. Yeah, it's kind of something like, uh, it's probably maybe a little newy now, but it's gonna be something that fighters are gonna have to do Absolutely. to sustain in the sport, I would think. Uh, it's a good person to have. Um, later, later, sorry, later, Pony Chase. Anything you know about them? Does it change your game plan at all? Or are you pretty much just, you know, focused and lasered in on, on what you're going to do, bud? With, you know, going into my gym every day, you, you train with, uh, you know, Cub, TJ, Georgie, um, Syed Awad, you know, Pico, just all these guys. So you're always having to switch your style up um, due to, you know, get your head ripped off in the gym, you know? Okay, the fighter. Yeah. All right. You good? You good, Goldie? I'm uh, great. One great, great stuff. Thank you, Cobb. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Buddy. I'm excited to have you here. One. Yeah, me too, Goldie. I can't wait. This is the arena I'm going to be fighting in. So, super stoked. He's going long sleeves this time. In the back. It's too bad. Pretty dope, huh? Right? And my bike shorts. Put the Bellator in the back. Tonight on Friday. Friday? Yeah. You're gonna be there? Thank you. Hey, Sammy. Oh, I see. 
he's playing with uh, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> Check my weight with me too, Ziggy's. Yeah. Let's see what our weight is. Snake. Okay, watch out. Be nice. Stop. Oh, All yeah, right, 57. 157. You okay? Hey, keep that out of our eyes, okay? Just got here for my first Bellator fight. Getting ready to cut some weight. Just made uh, check my weight and cut about seven pounds tonight. Got a nice little house we rented out. Gonna get some uh, weight cut in here in the sauna. Nice little area. We get ready to go. Getting it nice and toasty. Do you still want him to go get coconut oil? No, that almond oil will work. Okay. Oh yeah, grab some. Oh, let him grab some. Yeah, that way I don't use all. I gotta use it tomorrow morning too. And I don't want to oh, okay. use it all. Okay. <laughs> Twenty. Is it tiki and ramping? I just saw that and I was like, I wonder if you've seen it. Because it's probably it just got posted. <laughs> you could ask him. Have you asked Shahada to grab the um, the bean? I don't know what she did. Okay. Oh. How's it in there? Toast nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like to go up on the ladder? Yeah. I went through like four tubs of water in there. Four or five. Four. Huh? 
Yeah. But I, I had bought a big ribeye. Uh -huh. Um, so you can't eat the ribeye. Obviously. No, that's fine. Okay. Oh, you, whatever you make, whatever you can make, whatever Sam told you to make for after weigh ins my. He only th only told me to drink. Okay, well, text him right now and say, hey, what would you prefer him to eat again? Just to double check it. As of right now, did you bring any of the meals that I had packed you? Mm -hmm. I, I think I ate them all. And I just need something little, like Sorry. a couple eggs. Uh -huh. We got a couple eggs and whatever, a little bit of I have cheese. a sweet potato. I uh, have yeah. cheese. I have... Yeah, eggs, sweet potato, uh, cheese, and then uh, yuck celery. Uh-huh. Okay. Put a little bit of coconut oil on it. Okay. You're done. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> just got done halfway through my weight cut. I uh, just got a little bit in the morning. Feeling good. Feeling great. Got an easy sweat in here. Uh, nice spot to come and cut the weight. Feeling good. Glad my family's out here. Glad everyone, all my friends came out to support me. Um, super pumped. You know, super pumped. A lot of sponsors made this happen for me. So, you know, be able to get a place like this, like Boost Mobile, Legacy, all these guys chipping in, you know, Elite Sports. So, thank you guys for helping me provide a facility for me to cut some weight. Still got like a half a pound of fur. I know. Are you shaving? I didn't bring my fucking trimmer. I have. I have a, I brought a trimmer. Did you? Fuck yeah. That's I cool. For everything. It's my backup. Hell yeah. It's just my hair. <laughs> no, I won't shave my balls. If you do your balls, I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna get another trimmer. <laughs> Dude, I was instantly uh, sweating in there. Yeah. Um, I think uh, tonight one of my brothers coming up here. Yeah. You want it in there so it's warm? Yeah, I think it's warm. Switch me. My dad's running so he could train to win this fight, and this is his first fight from this company, Bellator. Yeah, so the lead up to this fight, you know, there's a lot that goes into this, you know, the negotiation, what weight, you know, what are you doing, who are you training with now, now that you switched over uh, management, you know, and we already all had, had that set in stone, but uh, now it's just getting it solidified, you know, waking up all hours of the day and going to work on the gym and training and, you know, get, uh, going to meetings, going to sign contracts, it just gets extensive and full of work, you know, so it's fun and I enjoyed the process, you know. I'm definitely ready to settle down in a home like Bellator and That's just open up, be able to be free now. It's like you get your own home like this place in Texas and you have acres and acres to run. It's like, 
I could walk around this whole yard naked if I wanted to, but you know, cause you finally made a home and you're just free. So that's how I feel signing with Bellator now. Forty-five point five, baby. Done. Eight thirty departure. It's eight oh nine. Eight thirty forty-five. Just let them know. Okay. Eight thirty. Eight forty-five. Just got done with the weight cut. Headed over to weigh-ins right now. Uh, was one forty-five exact after showering off and uh, getting in the car. Got all my meals ready to weigh in, baby. You excited to go on stage? Yes! I can't talk. Me too. Me too. You can't talk when you do what? When you suck in? Oh. Uh. I got Cub Swanson, Tiki Gosen, and uh, uh, Joe Gaddis. I have them written down right here. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
Oh the my Lola's, god, Lola's, I have the real story. Lola's his take, so oh yeah, my god, no, let me tell you how I know Fleek. I knew it. Right there. The horses go in here. I don't trust him either. It's a warm up, right? The shake Normally, I mean, most shakeouts I see, it's like one pair of gloves and mitts. But. <laughs> 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 what is that for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why are your hands wrapped? <laughs> why are the other gel look wrapped? Yeah, these are the nice ones. Is this how you tie your shoes? So we got to an extra large this time. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. I'm I weigh 195. That's what the fanny pack is for. Kind of like a bell bottom book. Yeah. <laughs> the fanny pack, people don't realize how fat I actually am. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, it's his fanny pack. Yeah, it is. Featherweight, William Joplin in 18 and 1, Juan Archuleta. Archuleta just beat him to the punch the whole time. He had a little bit higher pace. Now, Joplin represented himself and his team very well. However, he was on defense all night. You got to have a good offense to win in mixed martial arts. Juan the Spaniard Archuleta. Make the win streak 14 now. Make the record as a Bellator fighter. One and all, oh, the Spaniard, Juan Archuleta.